Hello there. If you have business analyst interview coming up shortly where they have specifically asked for Power BI skills, then this is the video for you. In this video, we are going to cover top 15 interview questions on DAX, which is one of the key components used in Power BI tool. If you don't know Power BI also, it's fine. This video will help you with the basics to get started with Power BI. We have lots to cover. Let's get started. As always, let us start off with a case study so that you can grasp the concepts easily. Adventure Works Cycles, the company on which Adventure Works databases are based, is a large multinational manufacturing company. The company manufactures and sells metals and composite bicycles to North American, European and Asian commercial markets. The four primary product categories of this company are bikes, accessories, clothing and components. So we will be using this data set to go through Power BI questions and answers in detail. Question number one, what is DAX? The full form of DAX is data analysis expressions. It is a programming language which is used throughout Power BI. It is a library of functions and operators that can be combined to build formulas and expressions in Power BI Analysis Services and Power Pivot in Excel data models. So in the example above, we are using a DAX function to calculate the total sales of the year for the retail client by passing the monthly sales amount. DAX is primarily used to create measures, numeric and quantitative values that you can measure. For example, the aggregations like sum, average, min, max and so on. Calculated columns. This is adding new data to the table and DAX formula defines the value of this new column. For example, you can calculate profit as a new column in the table of a product by subtracting product's cost from selling price of the product. Custom tables. The tables which are created from other tables thereby helps in creating more focused and business oriented view of data. Question number 2. What is DAX measures in Power BI? Measures in Power BI are used for defining calculation. This is done using DAX language, data analysis expression. It calculates each value of each row. Generally, measures are evaluated based on filter context, which means they recalculate when the fields or filters around them change. Like when new row or column labels are pulled into a matrix, or whenever new filters are applied. In the example above, order quantity and return quantity are measures in territory table. These are the quantitative values which are calculated based on the operation or the filter applied by the analyst. Also, measure values are not visible within tables. They can only be seen in the visualization like a chart or matrix or a table. Question number 3. What is implicit DAX measures in Power BI? An implicit measure is an aggregating calculation like sum, count that is automatically or implicitly calculated by Power BI. Implicit measures are created when an analyst drags raw numerical values like return quantity into the values pane of a visual and manually select aggregation mode like sum, average, min, max and so on. In the example shown above, there are many basic operations that could be applied by an analyst on return quantity. These are sum, average, minimum, etc. which are implicitly calculated within Power BI. Like sum of the return quantity of items for a specific territory, minimum quantity return from a particular territory and so on. Also, implicit measures are only accessible within specific visualization in which it was created and cannot be referenced elsewhere. Question number 4. What is explicit DAX measures in Power BI? An explicit measure is the one which is created by an analyst by typing or selecting a formula in a cell in the calculation area. Let us take an example. Step 1. 
Select Sales Territory key and order quantity from the territory and sales tables respectively and form a table as a visualization. Step 2. Right click on Sales Table and select New Measure, rename it as Quantity Sold and apply the formula as shown in the example. Step 3. Drag Quantity Sold along with Order Quantity in the table and it is observed that both these are equal. The major difference between implicit and explicit measures is that explicit measures can be used anywhere in the report and referenced within other DAX calculations to create measure trees, which is not the case with implicit measures in Power BI. Hence, that's what makes it more powerful and flexible. Hence, it is recommended to create explicit measures even for simple aggregations which can be done using implicit measures. Question number 5. What is DAX calculated columns in Power BI? Calculated columns allow you to add new formula based columns to the tables. Let us look at an example. Step 1. Select the table where analyst wants to add the new column. Step 2. Right click the table under fields pane and select new column. Rename it as geography and apply the formula as shown in the example. If the continent column in the territories table is North America, then it will populate West, else value would be populated as others. Step 3. New column Geography is added to the table. Some other important points of calculated columns are, Calculated column refers to entire tables or columns. Calculated columns generate values for each row which is visible within tables in the data view. Calculated columns understand row text, row defining properties based on information in each row and not useful in aggregation functions like sum, count, etc. Calculated columns are primarily used for filtering data rather than creating numerical values. For example, when new row or column labels are pulled into a matrix or whenever new filters are applied. Question number 6. What are DAX logical and conditional functions in Power BI? Logical and conditional functions act upon an expression to return information about the values or sets in the expression. If condition checks if a given condition is met and returns one value if the condition is true and other if the condition is false. Here in the example, if the continent column in the territories table is North America, then it will return West, else others. If error condition evaluates an expression and returns a specific value if the expression returns an error, otherwise expression itself. In the example, the output returns 5. And condition checks whether both the arguments are true and returns true if both arguments are true else returns false. In the example, it will return all true as all the conditions given are true. OR condition checks whether one of the arguments is true and returns false if both arguments are false. In the example, if the day of the week column in AW calendar table is 6 or 7, then the output would be a weekend, else it would be a weekday. Question number 7. What are DAX text functions in Power BI? DAX text functions work with tables and columns. With DAX text functions, you can return a part of a string, search for a text within a string or concatenate string values. LEN function returns the number of characters in a string. In the example, the output would be the length of characters of product subcategory. Like if the product subcategory is tables, then the output would be 6. Concatenate function joins two strings into one. In the example, the output would be hello world. Left, mid or right function returns the number of characters from the start, middle or end of the text string. In the example, the output would be the three characters of product subcategory from the left. Like if the product subcategory is tables, then the output would be TAB. Upper, lower or proper function 
converts letters in a string to upper lower or proper case in the example if the product subcategory is in lower case table then it will be transformed to upper case and the output would be upper case table substitute function replaces an instance of existing text with a new text in a string in the example the expression ampersand that is the symbol would be replaced by and like product subcategory table ampersand chairs would be replaced by tables and chairs search function returns the position where a specified string or character is found reading left to right in the example if the statement contains the word service then the output would be 3 as the position of the character r in service is 3 question number 8 what are dax math and stats functions in power bi the mathematical and statistical functions in dax are very similar to the excel mathematical and trigonometric functions sum function evaluates the sum of the column here in the example the output would be sum of sales price column in the product table average function returns the average that is the arithmetic mean of all the numbers in the column in the example the output would be the average of the amount column in the product table max function returns the large value in a column or between two scalar expressions in the example the output would be the maximum sales in the sales column of orders table min function returns the smallest value in a column or between two scalar expressions in the example the output would be minimum sales in the sales column of orders table divide function performs division and returns the alternate result or blank if division is by zero in the example the output would be the ratio of the tasks that are not completed as here the not complete tasks are being divided by total tasks question number nine what are dax count functions in power bi the dax count functions are used to count the total number of cells that contain value entities such as integer whole number string and character count function counts the number of cells in a column that contains numbers in the example the output would be the total number of sales id in the column like if the column has 10 sales ids then the output would be 10 this includes the blank cells as well count a function counts the number of non-empty cells in a column both numerical and non-numerical in the example the output would be the total number of non-blank sales ids in the column like if the column has 10 sales ids and two of them are blank then the output would be 8 count blank function counts the number of blank cells in a column in the example the output would be the total number of blank sales ids in the column like if the column has 10 sales ids and two of them are blank then the output would be 2 count rows function counts the number of rows in the specified table or a table defined by an expression in the example the output would be the total number of rows in a table like if there are 100 rows in the sales table then the output would be 100 question number 10 what is related function in power bi related function returns related values in each row of a table based on relationships with other tables related function retrieves the column that contains the values an analyst wants as per the business requirements in the example above analyst is trying to pull product price from the product table into sales table as per the product key column the new column added in the sales table is named as retail price as there is just one product key captured in the sales table which is 360 retail price is also same in all the rows which is 2049.1 Question number 11. What is calculate function in Power BI? Calculate function evaluates a given expression or formula under a set of defined filters. Calculate function works as a base function to apply other DAX functions in different scenarios by an analyst as per the business requirements. 
In the example above, analyst wants to pull bulk orders from the sales table wherein the order quantity is more than one on the basis of measure total orders that has already been defined. The insight that could be derived from the last table is that there are no bulk orders bikes categories and this makes sense as well because no one purchases multiple bikes at one go. Question number 12. What are time intelligence functions in Power BI? Time intelligence functions allow analysts to easily calculate common time comparisons. Time intelligence functions enable analysts to manipulate data using time periods including days, months, quarters and years and then build and compare calculations over those periods. For example, if the retailer wants to calculate the year till date YTD revenue generated, then the formula would be as shown in the slide. Similarly, previous period and running totals can be calculated using the formula shown in the slide. Question number 13. What are DAX iterator functions in Power BI? Iterator functions allow analysts to loop through same calculation or expression on each row of a table and then apply some sort of aggregation to the results like sum, max, etc. DAX iterator is like adding a temporary column at the end of the table calculating each row based on the expression and then applying the aggregation to that new column. In the example shown above, total revenue measure is the new measure created using sumx iterator function which is computed by looping through both the columns order quantity and retail price. Question number 14. What is DAX filter function in Power BI? Filter function returns a table that represents a subset of another table or expression. Filter DAX function goes row by row and chops out any row which returns the filter expression as false and returns the rows where filter expression is true. It can handle more complex filter expressions than calculate by referencing measures for example. Since filter returns an entire table, it is almost always used as an input to other functions like calculate and sumx. In the example above, high ticket orders wherein only the volumes of products which are above the average retail price which is $714.1 would be taken under filter condition. So the category bikes is the only one that is generating sales for the product price above $740.1 and the number of products is 11,312. Question number 15. What is all DAX function in Power BI? All function returns all rows in a table or all values in a column ignoring any filters that have been applied. All function is primarily useful for clearing filters and creating calculations on all the rows in a table. Simply put, it can remove any context that is coming from any filter or dimension that analyst has aligned to a formula. This is often used when an analyst wishes to view unfiltered values that won't react to changes in filter context, that is all orders where denominator needs remain fixed. In the example above, all is used as a part of calculate function. Analyst adds a measure to capture all the orders across all orders, which is grand total of all the orders. Now all orders is showing the overall orders, that is the same number in all the rows, which itself is not a very useful information. But if an analyst decides to calculate percentage total orders, then it shows the share of each category in each row. Did you enjoy this video? If so, please go ahead and subscribe to our channel. Hit the bell icon so that you will be notified when we release new videos. Thank you.